welcome back. I'm Bryant, and we have a really, really quick tutorial today. Uh, this is now about run again. Now, if this is your first time, guys, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. And again, guys, these videos are not about me running racks. This is not even my first attempt. So, but I just want to show you guys, you know, step by step on what I do on every shot. You know, hopefully it can help my lower scale of the players. All right, guys. So when I break, I want to use just a little bit of ball center. Because I want to leave the cue ball in the center of the table when I break. So hopefully when I make the wing ball, which I did, the cue ball can stay around the middle of the table. So that's a good break. But um, we plan to go. So I'm going to take ball in hand. And you see I got the one ball at the top of the table. I got the two towards the bottom and the four in the middle. So what I want to do now is I'm trying to see what side of the two ball I need to leave myself for when I shoot the one. So you can see the area that I want to be in. So I got this big old space here. So I'm going to go just a little bit low and a little bit to the left. It's a 7 o'clock. Just kind of, you know, drag it down. Now that's a really good shot. So for here, now I got the 2 ball and I got the 4 in the center and I got the 5 right there. So as you can see now, guys, I'm looking. I'm trying to see if the 4 ball go past the 5. I don't think it does. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to take the 2 ball and, and I'm going to go 10 o'clock here. And I want to put the four ball in the same pocket so that way I can have a shot, easy shot on the five. And this video, guys, is all about staying on the correct side of the object ball. So this is a good shot right here. Uh, nothing fancy. Just want to roll it up. You got the got the five ball sitting right there. So just put just a little bit, just roll the ball up. Just like that. Right here. Table pretty much is open. Like I said, this is a really quick one, guys. Just want to do a stop shot here, just a little bit, you know, below center. You know, nothing fancy. Just like that. And for the seven ball, just roll it up, you know, catch the rail. And just get closer to the nine. Really don't have to do much with this one. All right, perfect. Now, if you guys seen my money ball video, you know that I like to play shape on the ghost when I'm playing nine ball. So as you can see my spot right there, this is my ghost ball, so I want to play shape for that shot. Just like that. Hey guys, once again, I want to thank you so much for being here. Uh, guys, just keep in mind that, you know, this is practice. You know, I'm practicing on these runouts that I'm doing. I'm not doing all these on the first take, I promise you. Sometimes it may take me two, three, or four tries to complete a runout. So, you know, just can't show up to league night and expect to get better. You know, let's practice, let's keep working hard, let's keep better, getting better together, guys. All right, I want to thank my sponsors, you know, for everything that they've done for me and what they are doing for me. And I want to thank you guys again. If you haven't subscribed, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. I'm just trying to build this channel. You know, this channel is catered to the lower skill level players. All right, guys, and don't forget, my Ghost Ball aiming slash Tangent Line Finder mats are also available, guys. All right, and that link is in the description below. Alright guys, until next time, please take care of yourself, take care of each other. Peace.